the hardest part about growing a company is about hiring the right people. The reason why is when you start, at first, you're doing pretty much everything. So when I started with Vianne and Francois, they were handling the tech side of things and I was handling the business side of things. Meaning that on my end, I was doing customer support, sales, marketing, and pretty much everything business side. And Vianne and Francois were taking care of the product, the architecture, the development, and everything on the tech side. So as we started scaling, we came to a point when we reached uh, 1 million in annual recurring revenue, where we wanted to hire more and more people. However, when you want to hire people, the question you should ask yourself is whether or not you can trust that person to do a better job than you were doing at a specific task. And finding people you trust is actually really difficult and it's a tough job because during an interview process, everything is always biased. The people during the interview wants to get a job. So that person is trying to convince you that they are the right fit for the job. And on your end, it's very tricky because you need to know whether or not that person will be able and will be skilled enough to do the job. And down the line, you know, I was wondering, okay, like because trust is so important, I think I should hire like some of my friends, you know, like uh, either friends from uh, engineering school or business school or people that I've met, you know, like along the way, because if you get on well with someone, you know, like everything should work out. Wrong. <laughs> In this video, I will tell you exactly the mistakes I've done when hiring a friend so you can avoid to do the exact same mistakes. If you don't know me, my name is Guillaume Moubesh. I'm the CEO of a company called Lampire that is worth $150 million and I've got nothing to sell you. The goal of this channel is to help more entrepreneurs or people who want to launch their business to just not do the same mistakes that I've done along the way. I share tons of tips and tricks and we're a family of ambitious and bootstrapped entrepreneurs so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to join us. The first mistake I made is I hired a friend who had never done a specific job but because I trusted her I thought that you know she would be the perfect fit. First mistake is do not hire friends thinking that even though they haven't done a specific task in the past they will be great at it. Second mistake is during the interview process I didn't want to hide to people that she was my friend so I started to tell it and the issue with that is that the head of the department she was supposed to join she kind of fell forced to hire her because it was my friend. Um, and I realized that actually much later because during the interview process, down the line, she started having some doubts and she told me about the doubts she had. And then I started having a chat with her, explaining that I knew her, that I vouched for her because I believe that she could accomplish any task that we give her, etc., etc. You know, when, when you vouch for someone as a CEO and you're having a chat with your heads up, for them, it's like they trust you already. So if they think that, okay, uh, G is bringing some someone in the team that he trusts, I mean, I should trust that person. And for me, that was really like the, the biggest mistake. Once I did that, I couldn't spot after the, the first months or weeks that she was not the right fit. Since I had vouched for her, her manager was actually thinking that it would take a bit more time. And as of this time, everything was broken in the system because other people in the same department start feeling that, oh yeah, you know, like it's a friend of the CEO. So that's why, you know, she has like carte blanche to to do whatever she wants, etc., etc., And then within one single department, people start talking, people start thinking that, you know, now we're just hiring people based on whether or not they are friends with the right person. And that's literally the most toxic thing that can happen within a company. And all of that was basically like my fault because from the start, because I wanted to be fully transparent, I just said like, yeah, I vouch for that person, etc., etc. So if I have to recap like my mistakes, the first one was, you know, like from the start vouching for someone just because they were my friends, just because I trusted them and I thought that they could achieve like uh, the golden objective for a specific position. It was a mistake. What, what I should have done is like, if you've never worked with someone in the past, don't vouch for them. Just tell, okay, like I know them, be transparent. I think it's important, but don't vouch for them. Second thing is like, you should live really like full trust to your managers and the person will work with a specific person who hired. So if they have doubts, then don't hire the person, which means that if the answer is not like fuck yes, it means that it's fuck no. Uh, a quote that I like, I think it's like, if you don't see yourself work with a specific person for the next 10 years, then don't hire that person. I think it's from Naval or something, but it's really, really important for you to always keep that in mind. And then the third thing is like, as soon as someone doesn't meet their objectives within the first like months or two months, 
depending on how you do your onboarding, then it means that it's not a good fit and that you should move on and the person should, should help them like find another job or like uh, change company. But you can't keep working with people who are underperforming because in the end, it will create a toxic culture for other people within the team. And the issue for me was that it took me way too long to actually discover what was going on. I don't want to get too much into like the details and everything because most of this was actually like my fault and everything. But whenever you're doing like all of these things, you have to be careful. So to the question, should you hire a friend? Actually for that friend, it really didn't work out. She kind of like put a bit of a toxic environment within like uh, the department. So we had to let her go, which was quite tough. But the truth is like I learned a lot. And right now I hired like other of my friends, etc. like within the company, but in different departments, I didn't do the same mistakes. And working with your friend can be like really, really cool, or at least like having them in the company. Because first, if they are your friends, it usually means that they share the same value. If it's your company, your personal value and the company values are usually aligned, which means that technically your friends are a good fit to join with your company. But make sure to follow the hiring process. Make sure that the managers are the one deciding whether or not they fit. And if your manager are saying no, then it's a no and that's it. If you hire your friend and they don't meet their objectives, then again, it's a no-go. Based on all these learnings, I just decided to follow like the simple rules when hiring a friend, which is leaving a lot of space to the managers to know whether or not they are a fit, making sure that when they onboard, if they don't meet their objective, then just being treated as no normal like employee that you would uh, have in the team and just always be open and super transparent with your team. And luckily by doing like these simple steps, I was able to hire friends whom with everything is going super well and they are like awesome fit and they're just like kicking asses like everyone at Lempire. So hiring your friends, if done in bad conditions, can be really toxic, will not work. I've been there, it's really tough. But if you follow like the simple rules that I just mentioned, everything will be fine and it's just like a, an awesome way for your team team to have like really good cohesion and just you know like focusing on putting tons of really smart and energetic people all together to accomplish a great mission. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you soon.